Hey friend, smash that subscribe button. It really helps us out. Hundreds of videos and playlists on here for you. Enjoy the video. Hey friends, Shane from HunterWrench.com and I made a little short where I showed an engine that wouldn't pull throttle and ran like garbage and then I just put the airbox lid and filter on and it ran, ran fantastic, right? So I want to talk about that a little bit more because when you're working on a motorcycle, you want to, and this goes for a lot of things, but you want to try as much as possible to work in stages where you can like stop and check things, you know, make sure and look for leaks. You want to be able to take advantage of all that. You don't want to put all the body work on and fuel tank on and then fire it up for the first time because you lose that ability to stop and correct a problem. You'd have to reverse all that, right? But I want to talk about how it can be, this bike was a really good reminder of this to me, how it is so well tuned in the configuration it's in that something as simple as, as having the airbox lid off will make it run horrible. And I know a lot of people read stuff on the internet and start drilling holes in airboxes and doing all kinds of stuff. And you really want to be careful with that. I'm not going to say that it doesn't work. I'm just saying that you got to be careful you don't really cause a problem. So I thought what I'd do is take advantage of this motorcycle because it's a really good example of how well tuned it is in the configuration with the airbox lid and filter on. Now this bike has been jetted. Uh, you're going to see here it has a k and air filter that is freshly serviced, okay? But just check this out for a second, okay? So I'm going to fire the bike up, got the fuel on, got the fuel pump on, okay? Make sure nothing could fall in the intake. That'd be a bad day. Okay, I'm not even gonna screw it in, but watch this. Let's put my hand and my arm on it. Man, I'm gonna be waking up the neighbors. How cool is that? So this is my point where it's cool to do tricks and to you know make these stopping points, but make sure you don't burn yourself thinking, hey, I can't progress or I can't do anything. You like think something's wrong. So typically when I don't run the air box or the fuel tank and I'm running like my own fuel supply, I'm always starting it right at the carburetors themselves. I'm not even dealing with the fuel pump or anything else. Like this is a new fuel pump on here. So I, like I said, I'm just isolating things. When I run it here and it idles and I can sink the carbs and I can, you know, rev it a little bit, blip it around. I'm good with that. I'm just looking for leaks and trying to, like I said, get the synchronization part done. Now that I'm like happy with all that, then I switch, you know, use the fuel pump, start to finish up fuel lines, button things up, things like that, get the tank on, make sure and service that so I don't contaminate my brand new fuel pump and carb job. But that is just, like I said, a really good reminder of how tricks can get you into trouble why they're not in the service manual, but also being really mindful of how beneficial it is to know when to break that up into stages to catch potential problems. All right, my friends, if you haven't done so yet, make sure and like, share, and subscribe. As always, make it a great day and keep wrenching. Hey friends, we're super excited to announce that the How to Wrench channel has been approved for memberships. What's that mean for you? What would it look like if you could get member-only content? Many of you have been asking over the last year as we've put out surveys and, and tried to get some feedback that you missed the old deep dive long video explain content. Those are very hard to produce and they're very costly. They take an immense amount of time, especially to make it uh, creative and interactive for you to get that deep understanding. We have a lot of schools, institutions, do-it-yourselfers. I mean, really people from all over the world and over 200 countries are using our content to get a deep understanding to help themselves or to advance in their career. 
Well, those videos are coming back. That's the kind of content that's gonna go in this membership channel because we can offset some of those costs. So that's one, you're gonna get the deep dive videos. Two, you're gonna get access to member-only streams and live chats to where you can actually call in, ask questions and get answers on the spot and have a, a back and forth Q&A session with other members as well. We're super excited about that. And with the member, channel it's going to really make it more intimate we're going to be able to bring that back into more of a community instead of all the yahoos out there that are just causing trouble and being idiots this community has always been about helping each other and getting those answers to the questions we need you got to remember i love youtube too when i want to learn something it's quite often one of my first go-to places to get information it's more attentive so we want to be more relationship focused the other thing is youtube does this i think it's kind of funny but we're doing the emojis so if you're a new member it's going to be a green one we kind of went along the lines of like a training does in most uh certification programs bronze is your entry level a silver is your middle of the road and then gold is your you know top certified but we added one more we added a red one just to say hey thanks for all the love after you've been here for a while so for all you that love that kind of stuff hey it's there for you um, what else are you going to get with this? What you're going to get is really honestly, in, in my opinion, it's really a way just to say thank you. We've tried really hard over the years to figure out creative ways to not beg, if you will, but to try and encourage and remind people that, hey, I, I got a full-time job. Like I do this and have always done this on my own buck. All these expenses are my own. As I move to this new location, Phoenix, it's really expensive. It costs a lot to be able to do all this, and we really do need your help to offset some of that. So this is a way for you to really easily just say thank you and create that, you know, like I said, that deeper relationship with us as well to get the answers that you want and you need. So with that being said, I hope this has caught your attention. Look at the options below on the join. You hit that join button. It'll tell you what tiers. You can figure out what works best for you. We're already going to start moving forward making content that's member only. So I hope that you're working working on something that's making you smile or that you're getting through it or that's making you money. So we're going to get back at it. But as always, make it a great day and keep wrenching.